Never have I ever role played. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm back today with a fun new video. So today's video is gonna be Never Have I Ever. Again, I have asked my Instagram followers to ask me some questions, and I've also gathered just some questions off the internet. And I will be answering either, surprise, surprise, I have never, or that I have. And I will obviously, each question, briefly explain if I want to. I'm just gonna go straight dive. How cute is my new top, by the way? I'm gonna dive straight into the questions. Who's ready? Me. Never have I ever stolen anything. I have. I'm such a bad person. No, I was super, super young and stupid, and I wasn't doing it to be like stealing, so on. I was just being an absolute idiot. I stole a chubba chub lolly in an airport when I was really young. No excuses, shouldn't have done it, but I did. And I've also, by accident, by accident, walked out of a shopping centre in London with sunglasses on my head. Okay, I have. Cool. Cats out of the bag. Never have I ever drunk dialed my ex. Never. Don't get me wrong, I've had drunk conversations with my previous exes in the past, of course, on the phone, but I've never like drunk dialed them like, oh no. Like, I was either with them when I was drunk, together being drunk, or, yeah, no, but I've never drunk dialed like late in the evening, like, hey. Too busy partying, too busy having fun. When I've been in a relationship, I'm never really single because I'm a very, very, very relationship kind of gal. Single life, I, I, I'm, I'm happy for people that are happy single and I wish I could embrace when I'm single, but I'm just such a relationship person. So I've never been with someone and drunk down an ex. No, when that's over, that's over. Never have I ever rode a motorcycle. Never. I've got a picture on one, like standstill, like <laughs> But I've never, never ridden one. Ridden, rode, and the red, like a rodeo. Cowgirl. girl. TikTok, if you don't get it, don't worry about it. No, I haven't, and I actually wish, I don't wish to either. They, they scare me, they're fast, and they're dangerous, so no. Never have I ever missed a flight. Never. I've been close to once, but no, I haven't. Never have I ever gone skinny dipping. I have. <laughs> I always wanted to, so I did it with my friend, and it was loads of fun. It was cold, uh, but it was fun. You know, I just feel like that's like a bucket list thing. Or oh, it was for me anyway. You feel free and wild and fun and I was drunk, so. It was when the sun was rising, so yeah. Good memories, love it. Never have I ever been on TV. I have. I was on TV for two things. Russell and Bromley advert when I was about two. <laughs> Sat in my pram and then walked at the side of my pram like, I don't have that video though, it's so annoying, I wish I did. And the second time was Sky News, I think, when I was about eight, 19, 20, when I used to do music and sing and record in a recording studio, and it wasn't about me, it was more about the studio itself, and I was singing in the background for a brief, a brief few seconds. But no, no TV shows or anything like that. Never have I ever got a tattoo. I have. I know before anyone asks, I don't regret any of them, I love my tattoos. I have two tattoos. You will be new here if you didn't know I had tattoos because if you follow my Instagram with all my content on that, you've probably seen both my tattoos a number of times. I have a hummingbird on my rib here and I have Roman numerals on my hip on the same side. And I love them both. Um, I think I got this one when I was 16 and I think I got the lower one when I was 18, I wanna say, so yeah. They hurt a lot. Whoever says they don't, Mm, you're lying. Never have I ever broken up with somebody. I have. I broke up with my first long-term boyfriend after like four years because he cheated on me. So yeah, he had to go. Never have I ever used somebody else's toothbrush. Ew, sorry to say it, but I have. Do you know what's weird? Like when I was younger, like girl sleepovers and stuff, I would, but now I'm a bit funny about it. Like, I, no, I don't like it. I was gonna say, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Cause it's so like in your mouth, you know? So like, how can I borrow a foundation brush? It's like internal, it's like teeth. 
you know? I don't like doing it, but yes, I have used someone's toothbrush definitely a sleepover when I was younger. Never have I ever lied to a boss. I have. When I used to work in a restaurant bar in Fulham, Chelsea, London, me and my housemates used to throw such fun, crazy house parties back then. And I remember once doing it and it was all over my story back in the day. And um, I had to go to work the next day. And, and actually hats off to me, because now I'd be like, nope. But I, I went into work the next day. I probably had like a few hours sleep. I was like still drunk. I was like, oh my God, I feel sick, feel sick, feel sick. And I lied and I was like, I've got a really bad sick. I went in for like 10 minutes. I think I threw up in the toilet. And I was like, I'm glad to go, I've got the worst sickness bug. Like I was proper putting on the lies. And then he turned around to me and told me that he followed my socials and saw that I like the, when I say like the, it's such like a little house gathering, like the house parties we used to throw in London were crazy. They were like something out of a film, Is it like Project X, I'm not even kidding. It was so good, but yeah, I lied. And then I got caught for lying, so. Was it very clever of me, was it? Never have I ever kissed more than one person in 24 hours. So I have, it's such a long time ago. Like, not now, I don't do that, obviously. But I probably did on like my first ever girls holiday. Not only just like, you know, like a kiss on a night out or ever in a club in, in God knows where, but you know, like when you go on these like party girls holidays when you're like young and it's your first one and you have to do like challenges and all that like past the ice cube and all that shit, so yeah. Yeah, yes I have. Never have I ever trolled somebody online. No, I hate trolls and I'm not gonna bore you with this conversation because I do talk about them quite a lot and they don't need, they should be deserving the airtime, you know? But no, online trolling is awful and it just means someone is very unhappy with themselves and sometimes it goes, a lot of the time it goes way too far and I have no sympathy for it. It's just disgusting and I hate trolls. Never have I ever gone on a solo vacation. No, it's not a bit of me. I've never gone like traveling with a rucksack on my own. A, I find it quite dangerous on my own and B, I just don't like my own company. I love having someone to talk to and do things with at all times, so no. I haven't and I don't wish on. Never have I ever slept outdoors for an entire night. I have. Camping at Leeds Fest. Don't recommend it. Didn't like it. <laughs> no, it was fun. I was young and you know, when you're young and you're camping with your friends and you're drinking and partying. It's fun, isn't it? Actually, like you feel a bit like, you know, woo, I'm so mature. But yeah, I tried. I did camp one of the evenings and then I was like, fuck this. And I got up at like five in the morning and I was like, it rained all night, I was hungry, I was dirty, I wanted to get out my clothes, I wanted a cup of tea, my Yorkshire tea, I wanted dog cuddles, and I was like, and I actually, it's actually quite selfish now I think back to it, but I had a group of friends that was too big to fit in one car, and I text my dad, and I was like, dad, I'm cold, I'm wet, I'm tired, can you come get me? He was like, okay, there's not that many space. Which space? So I didn't tell anyone. I crept out of that tent at five in the morning. I was like, ee, 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 ee. and I just walked all the way out the campsite past all the drunk people in the tents, like, by they were all like coughing and cold and raining. And I was like, get me in the bath. I walked all the way, my dad picked me up, got home, bath was run for me, because when I was younger, I mean, still my mum and dad are like this with me, but obviously I live on my own now. Bath was run for me, there's a chocolate muffin, I remember it so well. Chocolate muffin on the side of the bath, I soaked, had my chocolate muffin, went downstairs, they made me bake an egg sandwich, cup of tea, had a shower, got changed, washed my hair, redid my makeup. And then I went back at about nine in the morning when everyone was like groggy, I'm like, oh God. I was like, hey guys, ready for the next day then are we? And they were like, you little shit. I was like, well, that's the pros of living really close to Lee's first back in the day. Never have I ever peed in the pool. That is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I have. People say, whoever says they don't, you have before. You might not now, but you have. Come off it if you say you haven't. We all have. Yes, everybody, I have weed in the pool. <laughs> Never have I ever role played. Um, Next question. Never have I ever deleted a post on social media because it didn't get enough likes. No. Do you know why? Because yeah, come on. It is annoying when they get rubbish likes compared to the other posts. But I posted that post because I like that post. If you don't like it, it's not my problem. 
know what I mean? But I've never deleted it. I've never been like embarrassed about the likes. I'm just like to shit. Guess you think I look ugly there. That's cool. Thanks. But if I like the picture, I like the picture. I keep it up. Never have I ever thrown a drink at somebody. Now that, that's, that's rude. <laughs> yeah, I have. Um, I can't remember all of, all, all of the occasions, you know, it's this weekly thing. I don't remember, but I think it's been maybe like two or three times. I don't really remember, maybe twice. I don't know. But one of the times I do really remember, and I will tell you the story because he deserved it. I was at We Are Festival. I was feeling myself in my outfit. I was wearing a black crop top, chaps with black, like a black pant underneath. It was so nice. And this guy decided that it was okay for him to come slap my bum in the middle of the festival, which just to let you know, men, that is not correct. That is basically harassment. You can't just go touch somebody's ass who you don't know. Out of nowhere, and I turned around, he was like, <laughs> and I was like, you can't just do that. And he was like, oh, it's all right, love. And walked off to his friends. And I said, no, no, you're you're not actually allowed to do that. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Went over to his mates, they all like high five, like, yeah, yeah educate yourselves and um, so I was like I just went <laughs> okay turned around went to my friend give me a drink got a drink walked over to him and he oh excuse me and he went yeah turned around whoosh, soaked karma comes back around and don't tell me he didn't deserve that because he did you don't touch a woman you don't touch anybody male or female or whatever without consent it's completely not on people need to stop doing it so I went, and he was soaked hair outfit he was like, i'm soaked what we're gonna do now at the festival i was like it's hot you'll dry off actually on that subject people do need to be educated on that don't touch people happened to me the night i went i literally went out in leeds at the weekend i actually left home i left early because i was getting so annoyed with someone that kept doing that arm around me touched my bum and i kept saying get off don't touch me like you're not allowed to do that get your hands off me and it, it this person was just obviously drunk and an absolute idiot. And it's not okay, so sort yourselves out. And if you're watching this video and you've done that before, don't ever do it again. Actually, this is my last question. Never have I ever questioned my sexuality. <laughs> Properly, no. Sometimes think about it, yeah. No, I am, um, no. I've never questioned my sexuality. I'm straight and I always have been, but do not get me wrong, women are so beautiful and so sexy and attractive, but I've never questioned my sexuality. Um, they're just, I just find women and girls just so much sexier and beautiful, and I just love the female vibe, you know? But no, I've always been straight. Some women might have sent to me, I'm joking. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my, not Q&A, chatting shit again. Hope you guys enjoyed my Never Have I Ever. Please let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments below. I hope you grab, I hope you grind. I hope you guys have a great week and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you don't already because if you don't, rude. But yeah, have a great week guys. Thank you for watching my video and guys, guess what? If you've made it this far in the video, next week is a try on haul. Heads out the bag. Right guys, have a great week and I'll speak to you soon.